Hi everyone, this is a continuation of first video on how to use uh, RustConf for uh, configuring networking devices. The first video we have seen uh, how to get interface details using IETF uh, YANG model or uh, Cisco's native YANG models. So, so these are uh, these details uh, we did it in the these configurations we did it in the first video. So, I'll continue with the further methods like put post patch and delete so in the first video i covered get method so we received interface configuration in the first video now we'll see how to use put method so we'll try to get the host name uh, if you see the configuration so we'll see the configuration here can see host name is under the native so what we'll do we'll give here host name so first we'll try get then we'll do the post yeah so here you can see I received host name now we'll try to configure the host name using put so put method will uh, generally create or replace I'll copy this and I'll change the method to put then go to the body then raw so before that we'll verify the host name it is CSR3 this change is to CSR4 So I'm getting the message on supported media type because now I started giving inputs and if you see my headers I'm just giving only accept now I'll try giving content type as well yeah so you can see status 200 that means because I have given an input so uh, it was a configuration request and uh, so I'm not getting any response I'm just getting the status as 200 server successfully processed the request so you can see here my host name has updated automatically so this is how you can use put method I'll save this host name Now next method is domain name so we'll see that I'll go to the example this example I saved in the previous video so you can see domain name is under IP IP and domain so what we need to do slash IP slash domain I received the domain name now I'll use put again so 
Yeah, I need to select the content. Test domain four. We'll verify the domain name now. You can see here the domain name has been updated. I'll save this as well. Yeah. Put domain. Now next is post. Post will be for uh, creating or adding something. So first we will try the post method. Sorry, I haven't. We'll try executing again. So we don't need to give the domain details here that's what it is saying unknown element so i'm doing post so you can see the message object already exists that means since object is already there post is not allowing me to put the configuration so what i'll do i'll remove the domain name from the device no IP domain name yeah now I'll change the domain name to 3 okay, let me send it again you can see it has created So now you can see it has updated the domain name. This is how we need to do the post. Then patch. Patch means it will be merging the configuration. So when you do the patch, you, you should be very careful. You need to make sure you're doing patch. Otherwise, what will happen? It'll overwrite all the commands. I'll show that. Now First, I'll get the routing table, then I'll update the routing table. Yeah. So, for getting the routing table, so send. So, now I got the routing table. So, if you want to add another route, we'll copy this uh, complete data. and uh, I'll change the method to patch I'll paste it here and what we can do we can remove this part because there is two routes in this router if you want to verify that You can see two routes this 20 dot 20 dot 30 route
yeah mm, let's uh, try to send this yeah it is successful you can see here now we'll verify the okay yeah i sorry i haven't added the new route I'll add another route 33 dot okay, 30 dot okay zero zero two two five two successful we will verify the routing table now you can see it has added the new route now instead of patch by mistake if you change this to put so it is going to break the current routing configuration and it is going to it will add only this route we will see that Once I give this, uh, I'll be losing the connectivity to the device. I'll show that. This is direct console to the device. Now if you see, so this is of the configuration because it is it daily because instead of giving patch i gave put and it it had deleted all the existing configuration it added only this word so you should be very careful while doing put action post action and other operations because uh, it might impact network so i i'll add the configurations manually because i lost connectivity from my uh, postman cancel this request because uh, the moment I executed this it lost connectivity to the way so let me do the patch again yeah. now you can see it has added the new route mm, similar way you can configure username I'll, uh, I'll save this patch route I'll do the get first getting the user configuration details you can see there is two users I'll try to remove the user admin 3 okay let me send the request again yeah now you can see I have only one user for adding another user I'll use the patch method I'll create user admin 3 or I'll create the user called admin 2 Let me send the configuration. Okay, I'm getting unsupported media type. I think I haven't given the header. Yeah. You can see 200 success. So 
we'll wait for the user here yeah you can see user has been created here admin 2 now next is delete operation so before so we'll try to delete two values one will be an interface gigabit 2 configuration and another a loopback interface i'll delete so we'll verify the configuration interface configuration first we'll create a loopback loopback 10 ip 10 dot 10 okay now I'm going to give delete operation before that we'll verify the interface configuration again i'll give get so here the interface ip is under ip address and primary so i'll be giving same thing here for delete you can see ip address primary and i'll give delete yeah i got 200 success message let's verify the interface now you can see IP address is unassigned so similar way I'm going to delete loop back 10 interface yeah uh, let me copy this and put it here okay Okay, let me just verify it. Okay, let me try again. Yeah, it is successful now. Yeah, interface has been deleted. So yeah, that's all about uh, RustConf, uh, how to use RustConf for configuring network king devices. I hope uh, this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.